Greetings, Timeless Sagas fans. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating and complex history of one of the world's most iconic cities, London. So, strap in and join me as we explore the birth, growth, and transformation of this timeless metropolis. Our saga begins in the Roman Empire, where London, or Londinium as it was known back then, was but a mere settlement founded around AD 43. The Romans saw the strategic importance of the River Thames, which provided them with a perfect route for trade and communication. The settlement quickly grew into a bustling port city. In AD 61, the infamous Boudicca, queen of the Iceni tribe, led a revolt against the Roman occupiers, torching Londinium to the ground. However, the Romans were not deterred. They swiftly rebuilt the city, constructing a fort and a wall to protect it from future attacks. The wall was known as the London Wall, and its remnants can still be seen today. Fast forward to the 5th century, when the Roman Empire crumbled, and Londinium was abandoned. During the subsequent Anglo-Saxon era, a new settlement called London which was established a mile or so west of the old city. Then, in the 9th century, the Vikings came a knocking, and London was once again plunged into chaos. Under the rule of Alfred the Great, the Anglo-Saxons managed to reclaim the city in 886. They moved the settlement back within the protective walls of Londinium, renaming it Lundenburg. London continued to grow during the Middle Ages, becoming an important center for trade and commerce. It also became the seat of royal power, with the Palace of Westminster and the Tower of London being constructed during this period. But the Middle Ages were not all sunshine and roses for Londoners. The city faced several calamities, such as the Great Famine of 1315 and the Black Death in 1348. The Black Death, a devastating plague that wiped out a third of London's population, left a lasting impact on the city and its social structure. Following a relatively stable period under the Tudor dynasty, the 17th century brought with it a series of misfortunes. In 1665, London was hit by yet another outbreak of the plague, known as the Great Plague. This was followed by the Great Fire of London in 1666, which destroyed a significant portion of the city. However, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, London was rebuilt once more. Architects such as Sir Christopher Wren and Sir John Vanbrugh designed and constructed a host of stunning buildings, including the iconic St. Paul's Cathedral. Now, let's talk about some revolution. The 18th and 19th centuries brought about significant changes to London's landscape and society. The Industrial Revolution transformed the city into a booming metropolis, attracting people from all over the country and beyond. The population exploded, and London became the largest city in the world. The Victorian era was a time of great innovation and expansion, leading to the construction of iconic landmarks such as the Houses of Parliament, the Crystal Palace, and the British Museum. The city's infrastructure was greatly improved, with the construction of the Thames Embankment and the introduction of the world's first underground railway, known as the Tube. During this period, London solidified its position as a global center for trade, finance, and culture. However, the rapid growth and industrialization had a darker side. Poverty and appalling living conditions were rampant in the city's overcrowded slums. This led to the rise of social reformers who sought to improve the lives of London's working class. Among them were Charles Dickens, whose novels vividly depicted the harsh realities of life in Victorian London, and Karl Marx, who wrote the Communist Manifesto while living in the city. In the 20th century, London faced its greatest challenge yet, World War II. The city endured the relentless bombing of the Blitz, which destroyed vast areas and claimed thousands of lives. The resilience and determination of Londoners during this time was nothing short of remarkable. Following the war, London was rebuilt once more, with the construction of new housing estates and the expansion of the city's boundaries. In the post-war years, London experienced a cultural revolution. The city became a melting pot of different cultures, as immigrants from around the world arrived to make London their home. This diversity has greatly enriched the city's art, music, and cuisine, making London a truly global city. As we enter the 21st century, London continues to evolve and adapt. The city has faced new challenges, such as the 7 Sevenths bombings in 2005, which tested the city's resilience once more. However, London has also celebrated triumphs, such as the successful hosting of the 2012 Olympic Games. Today, London is a modern metropolis, a city of innovation, creativity, and rich history. It is a place where the old and the new coexist, where ancient monuments stand alongside cutting-edge skyscrapers. London's story is one of resilience, rebirth, and transformation, making it a truly timeless saga. And that, my friends, was our whirlwind tour of London's captivating history. 
From its humble beginnings as a Roman settlement to the global powerhouse it is today, London's story has been shaped by centuries of challenges, triumphs, and the indomitable spirit of its people. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time, and as always, stay curious, and keep exploring the timeless sagas that surround us. Until next time.